What is up everyone? It's your boy Octbok here now. Sometime last year in the summer, I did a 99 overall Zaza Pachulia Golden State Warriors rebuild where I made Zaza 99 and I put everyone in the Warriors in the Trade Finder and I had to do one of the trades from the Trade Finder and see if they'd win a championship. Now this year I'm going to do it a little different. Zaza is not on the Warriors anymore and instead of doing the Trade Finder thing, we're going to do a two season rebuild and see if we can win the championship with Zaza's new squad which is the Detroit Pistons. If you guys don't know, I'm a I'm a diehard Pistons fan, and I'm pretty excited that we brought Zaza in. So he's a 99 everything. His shot tendencies are on 100. So, yeah, Drummond, bye-bye. Blake, bye-bye. Pretty much everyone's going to go, honestly. Maybe a couple people are going to stay, but not many. These are the 20... These are, like, next year's rosters, but for whatever reason, I don't see Kyrie Thomas or Bruce Brown. So, I don't know if it... Okay, so the draft picks are here, because DeAndre Ayton's on the Suns, but I guess we there's no Kyrie Thomas or Bruce Brown. That's a little strange, but whatever, we'll roll. We have traded Reggie Jackson, John Lohr, uh Langston Galloway, and two second-round picks to the Hawks for their first-round pick and a couple of scrub players. We are giving up a lot in this trade, but I think it's worth it. We're trading Blake-ish... And Andre Drummond to the Jazz for Donovan Mitchell, a couple scrubs, and a second-round pick. I know on paper it doesn't look like a big sense, but we're clearing away salary cap, and we're getting a really good young player in Donovan Mitchell. Here's a look at the rotation we're going to be going with. I think we can make the playoffs, but I don't think we're going to like go super far in the playoffs. Uh, our rotation is Dwight Bayux. I still can't say his name. Donovan Mitchell, Reggie Bullock, Henry Ellenson, and Zaza getting 48 minutes a game. And off the bench, Glenn Robinson, Stanley Johnson, and Luke Kennard, my son, or my daddy. I don't even know what he is at this so point. So Zaza Pachulia does win Defensive Player of the Year. There's a look at his numbers. He was very solid statistically, and his scoring averages are probably going to go up next year because for the first 30 games of the year, he wasn't like the first scoring option, and now he is, so his shooting averages should go up. He did it with most improved player, however, even though that's certainly... Lots of improvement, as you can clearly see, but of course it has to go to Chris Dunn, who didn't improve as much as Zaza. Zaza does make all NBA first team, probably made all defensive first team. Donovan Mitchell should make all uh, rookie team, putting up about 20 points a game. So, uh, we are not in the playoffs. We were absolutely terrible, 26 and 56. We were awful. But that's fine, we should get a good pick in the lottery. We also have the Hawks pick, and I don't know if we have any other picks. As Golden State wins the finals, oh my gosh, I'm so surprised. So lately, the draft lottery hasn't been as bad as it usually is, so hopefully it's not too harsh. We have the projected number one and number five picks, and we get three and five. The draft lottery still hates me. Here's a look at our draft with the third pick. We took Nazir Little. He is a channel legend, so... I figured it was fitting that I'd pick him. With the fifth pick, we got Sekou Domboya. I traded Glenn Robinson and three scrubs to the Clippers for the tenth pick. So they finessed us in a Blake deal, but we finessed him back. And we took Simi Sola. Hey, am I allowed to say that last name? No, they're not going to let me. And uh, with our second round pick, I took Silvio De Souza just because I'm a biased Kansas fan. And Sylvia's probably going to be my favorite player on next year's team because I really liked him this past year in the tournament. So, yeah. So, the contracts are really messed up in this roster. I wish I downloaded a better one. So, basically, the only somewhat decent free agent was Clint Capella because he was, like, the only somewhat decent one left. But he actually just signed a contract today with Houston. Five years, $90 million, if you guys didn't know. But, uh, yeah, we can't really make any moves. I tried to sign Capella. He went back to Houston, so that's pretty We tough. don't really have a good point guard, so I'm trading Stanley Johnson. Simi Sola. Yeah, that guy. A future first-round pick. A future second-round pick. And a couple of bench scrubs. Two of the Hornets for Kemba Walker. We don't really have a good point guard. So, Kemba will be a very good addition to the squad. We also don't have a very good power forward, so I'm trading our 2021 first, Reggie Bullock, and two future seconds to the Grizzlies for Jaron Jackson Jr. and Garrett Temple. I don't really care about Jer uh, Garrett Temple, but I do care about Jaron Jackson Jr., who will be the starting power forward for your Detroit Pistons. We have traded our 2019 first-round pick and Sekou Domboya 
to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Paul George. So, uh, our team right now is looking pretty darn good. I sort of need a backup big man, so I'm trading Norman Powell and Jonathan Motley, both of whom I just signed in free agency. To the Knicks for Ron Baker. He's going to be our backup big man. No, no, just kidding. It's Thaddeus Young. Ron Baker's not a big man. We also need a backup point guard, so I'm trading Tabo Cephalosha, our 2020 first-round pick, and a couple other players to the Boston Celtics for Terry Rose. Here is a look of a rotation we got rocking. Kimball Walker, Donovan Mitchell, Paul George, Jaron Jackson, and none other than the GOAT himself, Zaza Pachulia. Off the bench, Nazir Little, Terry Rozier, Thaddeus Young, and Luke. At the end of the season, the MVP award goes to none other than the man, the myth, the legend, it's Zaza Pachulia with another great year. RJ Barrett, Rookie of the Year, Zaza Defensive Player of the Year. So, it's, the awards were pretty much controlled by us and the Warriors outside of RJ Barrett and Dennis Schroeder. Zaza, all NBA first team, all NBA second team, nobody. Marvin Bagley making it, though, that's interesting. All third team, no one. Zaza, defensive team. Uh, Nazir Little probably made the all rookie second team. Yes, he did, putting up around 12.5 points and 5 boards. So, we unshockingly were the number one seed. In the first round, we'll be playing the Indiana Pacers, who added Rudy Gobert since the Jazz didn't need Rudy Gobert since we traded them Andre Drummond. So now they have a front court of Rudy Gobert and Miles Turner. I don't know if Miles Turner is still starting. Yeah, it looks like he's now coming off the bench. Now that they have Rudy Tooty. So we should beat them. I would, I'm going to say in five games. And we do beat them in five games. Now we got the Celtics, who of course we took Terry Rozier from. All caps, by the way, in the word took. Uh, Jason Tatum is not happy, apparently. Or no, he is happy. He's just going down. That's a little strange. But this team looks pretty much the same. They added Gallo. They added Bobon, so obviously we're going to lose. They, for whatever reason, decided to add Ryan Anderson and Joe Kim Noah. So that's basically $38 million of dead weight. I think Danny Ainge is smarter than that. And we win in five games. And now the six-seeded... 76ers, they probably haven't changed too much. Uh, no, they haven't. They drafted Romeo Langford. But other than that, they're pretty much the exact same team. We should beat them. And we sweep them. And we're going to play Golden State. Zaza's former team, who still have DeMarcus Cousins somehow. So we are probably going to lose. This is going to go horribly wrong. We lose. We win. We win again. We're up 3-1. Don't you dare blow this. Oh, no. Oh, no. And we win the NBA Finals. Zaza. Finals MVP putting up over 28 points a game. Here's a final look at the squad. 99 overall. Zaza Pachulia. Paul George. Donovan Mitchell. Kemba Walker. Jaron Jackson. Terry Rozier. Nazir Little. Thaddeus Young. Czech Diallo. Luke Kennard. Daniel Tice. Ron Baker. Henry Ellenson. Dwight B. Yucks. And I had to keep Silvio on the squad. So make sure to like and subscribe if you like what you're watching. I'm out. Peace.